So I'm present with Melissa, owner of Cahey Confesserie. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. Good, good. Very bright in here. Yes, yeah, it goes well with the candy. Okay, good, good. So tell us, what was the reasoning be behind opening a candy shop? Uh, well, I've been in retail for many years, and I actually uh, ran and managed a candy shop as well as a fine chocolate shop for over five years combined, and uh, I just love it. So when I had the opportunity and the good fortune to be able to open my own, I jumped on it. So tell us the different types of brands, candy, gum, chocolate that we can find here. Okay, well we have a lot of different kind. I mean, obviously the biggest one that comes to mind is Wonka. Wonka creates a lot of different uh, candies today on the market. But we also have uh, different brands from the United States. We have brands from uh, Europe, like Haribo. Uh, we have Allen, we have Maynard's. Uh, those are from Canada. Uh, Brookside, which is actually a Canadian chocolate company that has uh, interesting candies like, or chocolates like Claude Hoppers. Yep, so a lot of different. And how do you do your homework in terms of finding which brands you like to carry here? Uh, well, I look at all of my different suppliers, which I have many, and uh, I really look at the trends, what people like, something that's new and interesting, and I uh, bring it into the store, test it out. If it sells well and people really enjoy it, then for sure I'm going to bring it back. If not, then continuously looking for the next good thing. Okay, cool. So why don't you show what the hot candies are right now? Okay, uh, show you? I'm going to follow, yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> So uh, one of our, our biggest sellers is actually a nostalgic brand. Okay. Uh, it's called Blackjack Gum. Okay. And it is one of the uh, first um, flavored stick gums. Okay. So it was uh, created in 1884, which is kind of cool. Wow. And it has a black licorice flavor, and a lot of people really enjoy it. So it's something that a lot of people come in and are reminded, I guess, of their childhood and back in the day when they used to chew this gum. So this is really cool. Okay. Uh, another one of our gums that's really popular is uh, Big Leak Chew. So this is also, uh, yeah, yeah, this is good stuff. Um, so this is also something that has been around since uh, 1970. And it's really cool because it was created by two baseball players who were looking for something as an alternative to chewing tobacco and they went and they talked to Wrigley who actually owned the Chicago Cubs at the time I don't know if they still do and uh, they thought it was a really good idea and they came up with it and then of course every little boy that wanted to be like their favorite baseball uh, star got uh, gone out and went uh, to buy themselves some big league too. I'm getting excited but check it out stay tuned because later on in the show Melissa is going to show us some more unique brands, candy, chocolate, gum, everything you want. Stay tuned. Nous sommes toujours à Cahi Confesserie, and I'm here with the owner, Melissa. And now it's all about the chocolate bars. Yeah, absolutely. Chocolate bars are really popular. We have a lot of different brands. And a lot of them have actually been around for a really long time. So uh, one chocolate bar that's really cool that uh, not a lot of people actually know about is the Sky Bar. And it's uh, created by Neko. And uh, it was actually created a long time ago, 1938, I think. And it has four different fillings on the inside. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, it has like peanut butter, vanilla, uh, chocolate fudge, and caramel. So that's a really, really cool chocolate bar. Um, also, one of the super, super popular chocolate bars that we have here is the flake bar. This is the Cadbury flake bar. Really? Okay, so a lot of people come in and they're so happy to find it here. It actually uh, originated in Britain, so it's a, a originally a British chocolate bar, and it was a mistake, really. really? Okay. What happened was is uh, one of the employees at Cadbury noticed that uh, the chocolate that was falling off of the molds of the other chocolate bars was flowing in kind of a back and forth motion and creating these layers of chocolate. And when he tried it, it had like a flaky texture and that's how the flake bar was born. So one of the candy products that we have is actually a Jelly Belly uh, product. Okay. So Jelly Belly has a ton of different flavors. Okay. And this is a really cool one because it originated from Harry Potter. Okay. Um, Harry Potter had a, in their candy store, Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean. And Jelly Belly decided that they were going to create Birdie Bots Every Fla Flavor Bean. But then after Harry Potter, they created Bean Boozled. So basically it's, um, 
different jelly bellies and it has regular flavors and then disgusting flavors. So the whole trick is to kind of try it and you're not gonna know what you're gonna get. So you can either get buttered popcorn or you can get rotten egg. <laughs> and I hate to be the person who has to actually create these flavors because you'd have to try it to know if you've actually nailed it. So it's pretty cool. We have a, a really wide selection of sour products. Like we have Warheads and Toxic Waste. Those are super, super popular. They're actually over here. Okay. Um, so Warheads is a really sour candy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I've never seen that before. you never seen it before? Okay. So for people who like sour candy, this is definitely the way to go. It's a warhead. It starts off super sour, and there's actually, well, maybe not this one, but it'll it'll tell you like how many seconds you have to keep it in your mouth in order to be like a superstar. And then we also have toxic waste, which is even more sour. It's the, the more sour version of warheads, which is kind of cool. So if people want more information on how to find you, do you have a website? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, www.carreconfiserie, with an S at the end, dot com. Okay, and what's the address here? 1502 Blurry. So we're blurry between De Maisonneuve and St. Catherine. Thank you, eh? Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Now it's time to chew some candy.